I'm going to do whatever is necessary and whatever is in my power to make it feasible to women, conservative or reform, to pray in the Wailing Wall wearing their praying shawls. Why? Because Israel cannot be the only country in the Western world that has no freedom of religion to Jews. This is just wrong. And therefore it has to disappear. I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure there are going to be civil marriages in Israel. The, to the total dominance of the Israeli Rabbanut over marriage and divorce in Israel is an insult to every free man. This is just wrong and therefore it has to disappear. <laughs> and I'm going to do everything in my power to ensure the equality of all movements of Judaism in Israel. <laughs> Orthodox, conservative or reform. In conversion, in budgets, in the eyes of the law. No one, no one can claim ownership over the Jewish God. Small, petty politics cannot determine something that is eternal as the Jewish identity. This is just wrong. And therefore, it has to disappear. And I'm not even doing this for you. I'm doing this because I could be you and you could be me. For many years, the tragedy of the conservative movement uh, in the United States and Israel was the fact that the most majority of Israelis are actually conservative, they just don't know it. <laughs> because the majority of Israelis wanted a pluralistic, sane, welcoming Judaism. They were just not aware to the fact that there is such a thing. In the past few years, it is changing the current uh, leadership of the movement in Israel has changed the situation in many ways. The number of congregations went up in 50% within the last five years. The youth movement is flourishing, you know that better than I do. And the new generation of politicians is not afraid to say, I could be you and you could be me. I could be you and you could be me because we sprout from the same root.